Of the 64 World Series games this weekend, 28 are women's. And with the Rugby Sevens heading to its second Olympic Games in 2020, this is an exciting time for all female athletes here. How important is it, how significant is it that the women are playing on pitch one right alongside the men? so important for the game of Rugby Sevens that our athletes are seen on a universal platform. Um, Dubai has been a stop for us on the World Series for eight years now, so it's the only actual destination that's been a constant since the inception of the Women's World Series. And they've played across two pitches historically, um, but the growth of Rugby Sevens as a sport has become so popular that the fans have spoken and the partners of the World Series have spoken and said that these girls perform superbly athletically on the field and people want to see them. So 50 years for this event in Dubai, where do you want to see women's rugby sevens go in the future, in the years to come? I mean, we've got some very special destinations globally and for the first time this year, the women will compete in eight global destinations. That's up from previously, uh, which was six. So adding extra destinations and even more combined with the men, I think in time when the performance levels are right, we'd love to see them compete at every stop together. And that's definitely part of our medium term strategy. To further promote the game at Grassroots, lead sponsor of the World 7 Series, HSBC, has enlisted rugby legends to act as ambassadors for the sport, including Danielle Waterman, who has played rugby sevens and rugby union at international level. You're an ambassador for a HSBC. What are you up to this weekend? Um, so I've been doing lots of different stuff. The coolest stuff has been out and about with the development program and pathway um, that, that HSBC support in and around the local area. Um, and had the privilege to visit a local school and coach some of the, the young children there um, and see them inspired by rugby. In addition to the elite games on pitch one, more than 230 rugby teams from all around the world took part in the Rugby Invitation Tournament, which gives lower league and development teams the chance to experience playing at a big event. You know, I play, came over here and played in invitational tournaments before I played on the main stage as an elite athlete. So um, the fact that you've got young players getting to see the, the big players, getting to see what it is, but at the same time giving it a go themselves, um, I think there's no better way to appreciate something until you do it yourself. After seeing so many women on the pitch, I was inspired to learn how to play. So, hands up, ready? Okay. Give me a target to shoot in. Okay, we scoop. So we pass from our hip and rugby. Okay. okay. And then you shoot my target. Fantastic. And a spin. <laughs> I didn't, we're done. My job here is done. 